Uh, when you sit up there and breathe every day and you realize this is air that you are breathing, something that you don't see, right. you only feel. If that's not enough to let you know the power of God and why you should celebrate life, right. I don't know what else. But celebrating life, man, it's a beautiful thing. It's a privilege. Why celebrate life? You can breathe. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. What's going on, everybody? Just coming at you with a quick message, man. Um, I guess so you just say coming from the heart or from the core, as um, I think that's the best way to come from, you know what I mean? Instead of uh, always writing stuff down, sometimes the raw passion is needed and uh, it, it touched the soul when it's said. But what's really on my mind right now is just the thought of life. Every moment is so precious. And so you have to celebrate life because you don't know when it's your time is up. You don't know when you won't see your loved ones anymore. Um, and so every moment, every hour that we're given, I always talk about we have 168 hours a week and there's nothing imperfect about God. So that's all we ever need is 168 hours. We're to celebrate life every single day. So you should definitely celebrate life mostly because you never know where you're gonna leave this earth and you always wanna leave a strong and impactful legacy to everyone you come into contact with. So. That you had an opportunity to have that impact in their life. And you can have children and, 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 and you have relationships and a husband and a wife and uh, uh, you, know, you can be the best brother and the best sister. And, and through the celebration, purpose manifests itself, and, and impact manifests itself, and uh, a beautiful thing happens in courage and, and in life. What life is in general. I feel like uh, many times for myself, just doing some self-evaluations, that um, I can uh, mislead myself on this journey of life to think certain things are important when they're not, to uh, put so much priority on material things when they have no value, truly. And I'm just coming to you at this brief moment to say, man, value life and what you have. And I don't mean the material you have, but whatever moment you're in right now, whatever loved ones you have around you right now, Whatever your dream is, whatever your craft is, whatever your hobby is, whatever your interest is, value that thing right now. We're here for, to fulfill a purpose. And life is about understanding what that purpose is. And once you understand that purpose, that's when you start to really live. Because there's like a call, right? So we each have, earlier I said a purpose, you know, something that is a driving force kind of like what you, the decisions that you make and why you do what you do. All right. Um, with that driving force, you know, is the purpose, you know what I mean? So some people might have lost that. It might be Life is meant to be lived and everything that we go through, every lesson that we learn, anything that may hurt us or bring us up, it's all to get us to what, what our true purpose is in life, to get us to where we're supposed to be. So uh, with me fulfilling my purpose, I help you fulfill yours. Yes, sir. In this cycle of our thing, when you get into God's intent on life, then kicks it. But it's a maturity, and everybody reaches their point of enlightenment at their different point. You may not be where you want to be. You may not even be close to it. But value what you have at this very moment. Because when we don't value what we have, whatever moment we are in, how will we ever value when we get to the place that we want to be? You know, people who celebrate life, I think, have to go through some heartache and different kinds of heartache. So to to appreciate when it's good, you got to understand what makes it bad. And I've been there too. Uh, as soon as I change my life around, I'm not going to say everything went peaches and cream because I don't want you to believe that. But as I continue to trust God, things start shifting in my life. I hear a lot that it's not the final destination that's worth celebrating. It's the journey along the way. Right. Like, you know, if you, if you are waiting, if you continue to wait before you celebrate or before you feel proud of yourself, once you get to the end, you've missed out on all these moments, all these memories, all these, like lessons right. and everything that was going to prepare you for that final destination. So one of the things I catch myself doing is every time I get something new, every time I level up, 
I'm thinking about the next level. And I don't even appreciate the level that I'm on. I'm not saying be complacent. I'm not saying just, just be comfortable where you are. But understand where you are. Appreciate where you are while you still work for more. And when you work for more, stop stressing the, oh, I got to have this, I got to have that. I need this to be bigger. I need this to be better. Work for the, for the pleasure of working. But once you start to serve people, all of the problems that you have in your life start to minimize. When you maximize God and when you maximize other people, your problems diminish. So I think service is the best way to celebrate. I have to love my job. I have to love the people at work with. I have to love my family. I have to, if I'm not happy, it shows. And I become that grumpy person. Right. You can do all things if you put your mind to it. You'd be surprised what you can do if you put your mind to things. If you stop thinking, oh, well, he said I can't do this, he said I can't do that. No, it's what you can do. If you, if you got it in your mindset that you can be successful, you're going to be successful. But you're not just going to be there by sitting on the couch playing mad. True. You got to get up and work. You got to get up and grind. You got to hustle. You got to grind hard for your for what you want in this life because it's not going to it's not going to come easy and it's not going to be handed to you. You got to go out there and get what's yours. Work for the joy of doing what you enjoy doing. You know? Love what you do. For those working those pl in places that you don't enjoy, you know, it's a process. Push through wherever you at to get where you want to be. But for those living and they enjoy what they do, please continue to enjoy it and continue to put maximum effort in it. And that level that you want to reach will come if you wholeheartedly believe in that. But for myself, I have to say, I'm done putting so much emphasis on material things that I think I should have. Well, really the emphasis should be on the ones I love. I celebrate life. I celebrate everybody life who care about me. Like, like I say, like my sister, like said quite went to college. That was big. It was big for me anyway. I was like, oh shit, that's big. Cause guess what? My ass didn't go to college. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't plan on going to college. That's a win. She could come back. Cause see, the whole point of doing stuff like that is about culture, about bringing back culture to people that you love so you can help them get, teach them how to fish. You know, like, you know? I like to celebrate family because everybody doesn't have family. So I take, I take that very seriously. I spend time with my grandmother and my grandfather on the weekends as much as possible. That person is a keystone to somebody's life. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. everybody, 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 like, I can't stress that part enough. Like, everybody is important to somebody. On this earth that I'm walking on, on the people around me, the love that I can share, the feeling I can bring to myself and others. The presence that I can bring. So I ask you to do the same. Push past what you think is right. Push past this lost mindset we have, this misguidance that we have, this program mindset that we have. And live within yourself, your true self. The first thing that, that you're born with is self-love. And as you walk through society, the rules and regulations of society tries to take that away from you by putting you, uh, marginalizing you into a box and say that this is what you need to do and this is what you're supposed to do. But that's not even celebrating life. We just have too many people who are afraid of life. It's just easy to be in darkness. It's easy to down somebody. It's easy to be mean to somebody, but it's not easy to be nice, even to people that's not nice to you. It's not easy to be beautiful. It's not easy to think you're beautiful or love yourself without somebody telling you you conceited. Because it's easier for them to do that than to just tell you how nice you look. Because people are so quick to point out your failures. So every chance I get to celebrate something that I did wonderful, whether even if it's the smallest victory, getting up every morning I celebrate. Thank you, Lord. I wanted to bring joy, happiness. I wanted to capture those moments. 
that you can toast to, and you can toast to anything. I toast almost every night when I drink my glass of wine anyway, but <laughs> I really think it's important Understood. to toast to any celebration of life, because life, as, like I said, is a celebration all in itself. Before society came and told you what you should and shouldn't be, find who that person really is. Underneath all the designer things, all the shiny jewelry, all the insecurities, all the mishaps, all the failures, all the success. Find who you really are. Celebration of life first starts with knowledge of self. Um, you know who you are, you know where you can go. So, you know, for me, I couldn't even celebrate life until I begin to find out who I am. And once you find out who you are, you fall in love with yourself, the possibilities are endless. You can celebrate any way you want. Being in touch with what it is that you want to do. And so that at the end of the day, you're trying to please, and I, I've done this myself, you're trying to please everybody else. And what I found out is that other people will or will not be pleased, and you're still not pleased. Right. And so instead of trying to please all of them, do what it is that you really want to do. And if they get happy, good. And if they don't, oh well. Honestly, I try to live without regret, without restriction. And I just do. I just move. If I have the capabilities to it, I'll do it. Uh, now I know what it actually is. Now when I was 21 years old, I didn't know what life was. But when I found Christ and started giving my life to him and literally learned that life is more than sex, drugs, money, and all of these different things, that's why I celebrated. Because once we learn ourselves, nobody can tell us any different anymore. And be that person on a daily basis. Cause that's what I'm gonna do now. Forever living in joy. Forever celebrating life. Cause death is inevitable. But life isn't. You can be dead right now if you choose to walk as a zombie. Every day you're not living, you're dying. You have to love yourself. Regardless of the situation, like I think in society within itself, like people walking around trying to be somebody that they not. And it's like, why? If you choose to walk without life, but I choose to live, I'm gonna live life sharing love, sharing peace, sharing truth. Celebrate life. Peace. 531. It's getting together with the person that you lost the person with, like me and you. Getting together to talk about mine, like that's that's enough for me. First and foremost, every day I wake up, I thank the Lord because we didn't have to do it. I would just celebrate life to appreciate everything that she did for me to have. So I do celebrate life because I get the chance to. It's as simple as that. <laughs>